Dame Patsy Reddy, who says she takes up the role of New Zealand's Governor-General with trepidation but enthusiasm. She was sworn in as New Zealand's 21st Governor-General at a formal ceremony at Parliament today and our political editor Chris Bramwell was there. <laughs> It was an overcast but still day in Wellington as Dame Patsy Reddy and her husband David were welcomed to Parliament for her formal swearing-in ceremony. In front of a throng of VIPs, ministers, the current and former Prime Ministers and former Governors-General, she took the affirmation of allegiance and office. Dame Patsy is the third woman to take up the role and she told those gathered she was honoured to follow in the footsteps of Dame Kath Tizard and Dame Sylvia Cartwright. Dame Kath and Dame Sylvia challenged norms and expectations by stepping into public leadership roles at a time when women were not easily accepted as leaders. Their success helped shape a world where young women and men can forge a path in whatever career they choose. She said she brought a new set of skills to the role from her long career in both the private and public sectors. I will be proud to be an international representative for New Zealand, contributing in any way I can to our reputation as a respected member of a global community. I take on this opportunity with some trepidation, but also with enthusiasm and commitment. The Prime Minister John Key said Dame Patsy had consistently shown the ability to take on new challenges and to succeed at whatever she turned her mind to. She is articulate, intelligent and determined. These qualities will serve her well in her new role. Dame Patsy will have a busy term of office, including two general elections. She will represent New Zealanders at home and overseas for the ongoing commemorations of the centenary of the First World War. Dame Patsy Reddy and her husband Sir David Gascoigne will have official residences at government houses in Auckland and Wellington. As Governor-General, she will be responsible for giving what's called royal assent to legislation passed by Parliament. She also has the power to force the dissolution of Parliament, dismiss the Prime Minister or refuse a Prime Minister's request for an election. But it is of course highly unlikely she'll do any of those things. Atuiti Whare Party Matha More Checkpoint. Call Chris Bramwell Aho.